Hey guys, it's Nicole here back on this what Friday night. <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing good out there and welcome back to Nicole's View. Shout out to Phil from the Advice Show. I saw his video about this a while back this week. And then I also want to give like a YouTube spotlight shout out to Otomir Lunyao One. He has a fantastic YouTube channel. His commentaries are always really good. I enjoy listening to him. So if you are not subscribed to him, definitely hit that subscribe button. He's awesome. I'll make sure to leave a link. I know I'm bad about that. I'll say the person's channel and then forget to, to put the link. After I'm done fixing videos, editing, and all that, I tend to forget. So please forgive me, guys, but I will be better about that. Um, but thank you. Check out his channel. And this is where we are. So this is the latest hanging, shooting, killing of another black man out of Utah. Um, and all because he was riding six lanes or something like that. I'll read through some of this article. I refuse to watch the video. I've not seen it. I don't want to see it. There's enough trauma within the black community. And I have no desire to see it over and over and over. And the fact that, I'm not accusing you guys of doing it, don't take it this way. The fact that we as a collective can actually sit and watch, watch, sit through and watch our fellow brother be executed. I mean, this is how, think about it. This is how psychotic, this is how sick, this is how sick it is now. The fact that we can sit comfortably and just be like, yep, we're waiting for it. This is how bad it's getting. I'm not going to play the video on my channel. If you've seen it, you know. All I have to read, all I have to do is read it, and that's that, okay? I've seen this too much. This is like Walter Scott all over again. This is what it is. This is the classic slave running away from the slave master. Okay, that mindset has not changed. The slave patrol running after the slave who rebelled and wanted to run away for freedom. This is what this is. This is why they continue this. This is why the dominant society says it's okay. It's okay because you have a history of doing it. So he must have done something bad, bad enough to shoot him in the back. He was a slave who rebelled. He was a slave that didn't listen. So it's okay. Do what you got to do. And this is why they don't care. Because they all have their ancestors' sick, demented, demonic mentality. And they get away with it. Okay? So it's nothing new to us. And every day... When I hear stories like this, all I can do is just shout out the names of Micah Johnson, St. Micah Johnson. Shout out the names of St. Gavin Long. Because it's coming, folks. This is just too much, okay? Whether it comes from us or their own, it's coming. Something is about to implode. Something is about to to happen because this is beyond insanity okay this is why you have these demonic devils killing their own people okay this is why they are going to do it to themselves at the end of the day we may not even have to lift a finger because Either way it goes, you don't get away with this. We all know that these race soldiers are going to get away with it, okay? They're in Utah. Nothing's going to happen to them. They may get some bench trial. They may get an actual jury, and they'll be set free because he was a slave. They still look at black men and women and children as slaves, not as humans. We like to think we've progressed, we have not. They still have their demon demonic mindset of their ancestors. So nothing's gonna change, nothing. 
So I'm going to read some of this. And it says, body cam video shows Utah officer fatally shooting fleeing man, warning graphic content. I have no interest in seeing it. The Salt Lake City District Attorney's Office released the body cam footage in a fatal police-involved shooting. It has since, I'm sorry, it has since said was justified. Okay, so a man running away from you, that's justified. He's not coming towards them. He doesn't have a gun out shooting them. He's running away from them. Okay. A Salt Lake City police officer identified as Officer Chris Smith pulled over 50-year-old Patrick Harmon after watching him ride his bicycle across all six lanes in the median of State Street the night of August 13th, the Salt Lake Tribune reported. Harmon's bike was missing its required red tail light. <laughs> so, and we've heard this before, you know, the red tail light on a car and now on a bike. Nothing. According to documents from the DA's office, when asked for identification, Harmon gave the officers a name that was not in the database, prompting him to call for backup. So this is um, code for something's about to go down. He's not telling us the truth, so get ready. Officer Clinton Fox responded with another officer. Footage from all three cops released by officials Wednesday shows Smith again asked Harmon to spell his name. According to the district attorney's report, Harmon gave a couple of different names. So I guess that's okay. That makes it all right. After Smith was able to identify Harmon, he learned he had, he had active felony warrants for aggravated assault, according to prosecutors. Harmon appeared emotional and distraught and told officers he had been trying to take care of it, Fox testified, and I believe it, in this system of white supremacy. If you don't have it together, especially financially, this is what they do. This is how you get caught up. Jason Black talks about this all the time. <sighs> the officers told him he was going to be arrested, but Harmon bolted and ran. So running away, that's a threat. As the trio of cops, or as the trio of white supremacist race soldiers pursued him, Harmon turned quickly to face them, according to the Tribune. Smith drew his taser while Fox and the other officer drew their firearms. All three reported that Harmon threatened to cut them and that they saw him reaching for his pocket. Okay, made up bullshit. Investigators did find a knife on the ground at the scene, according to the newspaper. Okay, right. In the footage, Fox can be heard shouting, I'll effing shoot you before he fires off three rounds just as the other officers discharges his stun gun. Harmon was handcuffed after being slaughtered and transported to the hospital where he was pronounced dead a short time later. Prosecutors in Salt Lake City said the shooting was justified because the officers feared for their lives. This is their get out of free jail card here. Harmon's niece, Alicia Shaw, pushed back against such claims. They just murdered him flat out. She told the Guardian, they're lying. There's no way they were threatened by anything. He was only trying to get away. Of course, when you are the slave and you know that the slave master has the whip, which is the gun, or the dogs, or even guns back then, he knew what was about to happen. All he know, you know, all he knew was to run away. Authorities declined to comment on the case, but Chief Mike Brown told the news outlet they trust the process and support the decision from District Attorney Sam Gill. I believe our officers have the training and judgment and ability to make split section split second decisions in dynamic situations, which is code for um, even if they're charged, we're not gonna put you know send them to jail. Nothing's gonna happen. That's all that's saying. It's rare for police officers to be charged and even more rare for them to be convicted in such cases as law allows the use of lethal force if they perceive a threat. He was just being profiled, Shaw added. Why do we have to fight so hard for justice? All we want is to be treated equal as a black person instead of being profiled and looked as if we were a threat. So that is the end of that.
Um, and this is where, unfortunately, his niece just, if you're not awake by now, you have to understand we are initially still slaves to them. Okay, so even running away, you're a threat. You're running away from them, but you're a threat. This is why I have no sympathy for when they have to go through traumatic injuries and deaths and all that. I have no sympathy because you only bring it upon yourselves. For every death that they get away with, 10, 20, 30 more years will suffer the consequences because you don't get away with this and think it's cool and think it's, oh, I can go home. I can live my life. I can kill a nigga, get away with it. And that's that. Nope. Nope. Doesn't work like that. They will all have to pay for it one way or the other, but it's coming. It's coming. So, I mean, what more can you say that hasn't been said about a thousand times already? I don't give a damn what was in his background. I don't give a damn what he was charged with. I saw a man that knew he lived in the system of white supremacy, was trying to escape from the, the slave plantation and was murdered by the slave masters. Nothing more, nothing less. Just modern day slaves and slave masters. That's, that's all this is. That's all this is. Rest in power to this brother, to his family, my condolences to anyone that's connected to him. Just keep calling their names because you can only get away with this for so long. The temperature is rising and people are fed up. We're done. We're done talking, we're done begging, we're done pleading. The time has come and it's due. It's past due. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.